This time our topic is dictionaries, which are simply data structures that associate one entry, often called the key, with another called the value. So the data entries always come in pairs. You can think of the first one as a label or a descriptor what is stored in the second value. So we see that the basic components in the dictionary blocks is a pair which prompts you to enter data in pairs as keys and values. Let's quickly put together several simple examples of data entries. You see, we created an MBA theme data structure. First, notice that the key, essentially a label, is always a string or a text. On the right, we see that the value can be a text as well, can be a logic false or true, or also can be a number in this simple form. You also notice that on the screen, we place the button and the list view. And when we press this button, we want to show our dictionary within this list on the screen. So let's see in this form right now, right? If we press this button, it shows that these are our pairs in the list. Team, Atlanta Hawks, Defending Champions, False, and the standing, current standing is five in the East, right? Now, the most significant aspect of dictionaries is that they can handle JavaScript object notation or JSON objects. Why is that important? Because most data organization and transfer through internet protocols uses such structures. JSONs are a bit more complex than just these simple pairs that we showed here. So let's again first quickly build some extra examples. The first thing to note here is that although the second item in data pairs is called value, this is not limited to only a single entry. Here in these examples, we see first that this value can be a list, in this case list of texts, list of strings. We can have as many entries obviously as we wish within this list or here where we use the logic statements as uh, entries for our list. And in the last case here, probably the most interesting case is that we see that the value can be another dictionary. So we can have a dictionary within the dictionary. And if we keep going here, any of these values also can assume another dictionary. So we can have as many nested dictionaries as we prefer, right? 
The other things, if we look at these blocks, most of them are really uh, self-explanatory. We would also notice that most cases uh, we can have kind of read-write uh, duplicates. So if there is one uh, get value for something, that there's another one that we can set value within the dictionary and so on. Uh, as I said, most of them are self-explanatory and we don't need to spend time with them. But the one that's actually useful and maybe not as obvious as the rest of them is how do we retrieve uh, any value uh, when we have nested uh, dictionaries, right? One within the other. So, for instance, if we want to retrieve something that is down the uh, nested set of dictionaries, we need to create a path to how to reach to that value point. So I'm going to show this an example. We start from the top, right? And we go to the first key, which in our case here is going to be the stats. And then through the stats, we're going to go to the key that we're say interested in, which is the points per game. So to get to the points per game, we need to create a path that's going to walk through the stats first and then through the PPG second and then if there's more, right? But in our case, there is no more. So in this path, we need to create a list to as many keys as we have. So we're going to create a list here for the path. The first one is going to be the stat, the first one at the top right here. And then as we go through it, the second one is going to be here, right, points per game. And we need to say which dictionary, right? So this is our global dictionary right here. And to illustrate this, we're going to remove this from the display. And we're going to set the list view to our found points per game, right? So let's see now. If we click this button, we should get what is the value for the points per game, 31.5. Okay, as I said, the last of them are really self-explanatory. We don't need to demonstrate them. Uh, remember, the most important aspects uh, or aspect of dictionaries is actually use of JSON because that is something that is used uh, in many, many applications. Uh, we can uh, close uh, this lesson here and until the next time, bye.